Hi there, welcome to part two of the WSO2 Enterprise Service Bus Quick Start Guide. I am Waylon Kenning, you have just heard my phone go off. Let's focus on proxy services. So in here it's talking about proxy services acting as a service hosted in the WSO2 ESB. Uh, typically fronts an existing service endpoint and can be created and exposed on a different transport schema, WSDL or quality of service than the real service. So that's pretty cool. So let's run the sample scenario and see how it works for us. So we've already started the ESB. Um, it's still running from part one video and what we want to do is click go to main and we want to list our web services. So you'll see that there are no proxy web services. So if we go web services add proxy service and what we want to do is, so here's a whole bunch of generic templates that we can pick. We want to pick the custom proxy because that's what the quick start wizard is telling us and we will be entering some details. So it's telling us that we want to call it stock quote proxy. So we want to specify a wisdom. So it says select, uh, select specify source URL in the publishing wisdom. Uh, so there we go. So we have to put in the URL type in that apparently as the whistle URL which I have and clicked test URI to validate it. So we've successfully connected to the WSDL URI which is great. And then it says Next, select the transport, so you will need to expose the proxy service uh, by default, HTTP or HTTPS. Right. So, then click Next. And we need to have step two, a targeted endpoint to handle request messages and a target in sequence to handle to select defy in line under define endpoint and click the create button okay so we now need to click um, it says pick define inline under define endpoint, click create in the next sub menu, click address endpoint. That's that one. And then a web form has come up, which is the same as that web form. Type in the endpoint. Address. Oh. Ah. Put that in there. Should be able to click test. And we have shown that we can connect to that. Don't change anything else. And then just click save. So now. So for the in sequence, leave it empty, so click next to go to the next step. So out sequence and fault sequence options. So we need to create an out sequence. So here it just says to send the message back out to the client. So select define inline under define out sequence. Then click create. So we'll have the sequence editor, click add child, click on the add child icon, 
and select core and then select send. Agile core send. So a send the mediator with the default options will be added. Which is there. Click save to save the out sequence configuration which we've just done and then click finish to save and put the wizard Ooh. okay so on the serving listen on the services listing page which is this one here we can see our newly created proxy service which was that one there Click on the service name link to enter the service dashboard. So here it is. So we can see the actions which can be performed to our proxy. We want to enable statistics and tracing for the proxy service by clicking the appropriate icon. So need to find those really oh oh maybe they just come under our web services oh Ah, maybe it's under here. It was definitely not under there. So, it says click on the service name link to enter the service dashboard. So, click. On the service dashboard, you will see the actions that can be performed on the proxy server. Enable the statistics and tracing icon for the proxy service by clicking on the appropriate icon. Ah, there they were. Statistics and tracing. Great. So we've now finished configuring the proxy service for the sample. Uh, so the rest of it. So, what we have here is we need to, we've got these um, Axis server started and we've got our clients running as well. So, I'll just shut these down. These are, so shut that down just to start it up again. So, we're in the access to server directory and we just type in um, access to server to start it up. So it's starting up. We've got our listener on port 9000. Go to the clients directory, type in the following. I type and you can cut and paste. So you can paste that in there. and it's got that stock price which is great so even this was um, the, the quote went to the transport endpoint on port 8280 and we've got a response back so now we can go back to here ignore that little bad boy and we can go to monitor mediation statistics so that's the overall one. In the top right hand box we can click proxy server statistics. This is for the proxy server that we just created. And you can see there's the information about it. And that was it. So we've just uh, we've finished it. We've done in the cook guide we've in the visual construction of a proxy service and the simple use case um, and that's the quick look of the WSO2 Enterprise Service Bus. Thanks for watching.